Okay. Welcome. Uh, this is basically a buyer's guide for the Tiger Gamecom. <coughs> Excuse the cough. For some reason, I'm having tr trouble breathing. The general rule is don't. It is not a good machine at all. But if you're sadistic enough, basically, this is what you should look for. Box. <laughs> Mine's in bad nick. I didn't spend a ten on it. I spent like 5p. 50p. Uh, in the box, you did get the usual stuff. Uh, you'd get an upside down Gamecom. I'm constantly having to check the screen, make sure it's recording. <sighs> uh, you'll get the usual, you know, manuals. Crap. Uh, the Gamecom itself, uh, when you're buying it, it's handy to make sure it has actually got the stylus. You don't particularly need the stylus because you can use your fingers, but for certain games like the the one that's built in, the solitaire game, you need it. It makes the games easier to play. Uh, another thing, make sure it's, you've got the usual compartments uh, covered. You know. It's, again, okay, not essential, but it looks better. So, <sighs> Sorry about this, I kind of embedded the camera in my helmet. It were. <coughs> Other than that, uh, when you buy it, make sure it's got like it's got two cartridge ports there. Make sure they're clean and everything. Uh, but they might have left some games in, like I do. Again, when you start it up, the original one anyway, you got to select between the two. Uh, Games-wise, as I've said in videos, it comes with two games that I'm not particularly fond of. <coughs> That's about it, really. Games-wise, uh, you've got... They're all boxed. Which is slightly irritating. But, box-wise, uh, that's traditional. Uh, that's traditional, just... Whatever. Uh, they'll come, they come in these little plastic holders. <coughs> a manual. Which is quite good. Uh, it's for the Gamecom Pocket Pro Lite. Yeah. Not necessary. Uh, they don't come with anything else, really. Okay, now let's make sure. Always check if there is actually any extra games in it. Uh, Games-wise, you're barking up the wrong tree, mate. <coughs> the best games are probably... I've said it on the video. Wheel of Fortune games, which are bizarrely playable. Duke Nukem's not too bad. Resident Evil 2's pretty good, considering. Uh, other than that, it's a pile of shit. So don't buy it. But if you want to, that's my guide. And uh, thanks for watching. If you did, if you didn't, bollocks to you.